Hello and thanks for joining me. Well, a while ago I put a calculator bracket on top of my power switch because I got tired of chasing my calculator. I'd lay it down somewhere and I couldn't find it. And I'm not very good at math, so I kind of rely on it. Uh, but I recently picked up a cheap uh, speed indicator, and I, uh, that's what this bracket's going to be for. There it is right there. I'll put a link to it uh, down below in the description. Uh, it's got a, uh, let me get it here, a proc switch, and it's got a magnet. And I've got to mount the magnet somewhere on the drive. At first, when I say drive, I mean somewhere on the spindle, because I wanted to measure chuck speed. I was going to put it right there, but my bowl gear, uh, what disengages the bowl gear when I put it in the back gear is right there. So that's not going to work. So, I started looking at the other end of the spindle. Right here, I don't want to interfere with using my bore, so I don't want to put anything inside it. So I'm going to bore this out a little bigger and slip it over the end of this gear right here. And then put a couple of set screws in it and embed that magnet right there. And then the prox switch will be mounted right here and read, up, read that magnet. Let me take this guard off. So it's got like a little lip right here. And I'm going to make that slide over it and then put like three set screws in that. So that's the next step to bore this out so it slides over that. And then I'll mill a little socket for that magnet right there. And I was going to put a piece of shrink tubing around it. But I don't have any shrink tubing that large. So I'm going to have to come up with a way of holding that magnet in there. Maybe just super glue. I don't know. I'm a little hesitant. Uh, I'd hate to have that thing come flying out of there. Of course, the magnet, magnet itself is going to hold it in there. Anyway, next step is to bore that out to this diameter right there. Perfect. Now the next step is to put some little tiny set screws, three of them on there. It's not really critical, doesn't have to be evenly spaced or anything, just something to hold it on there. And then I'll have to bore a place for that magnet. I like it. Now I got to drill a, a hole for that magnet, and I don't. It's a metric diameter magnet. I can't remember what it is, but I'll have to make it. I don't have a mill that size, so I have to drill with a standard drill. It won't hurt it to have a concave hole in the bottom as long as the sides are parallel.
Well, if I get that stuck in there, I won't get it out. I think that's going to fit. I decided to drill a hole in the middle of this. That way if I get the magnet stuck in there, I can poke it out with a wire or Allen wrench or something. Wow, that's a perfect fit. It may just stay on there, stay in there on its own. Hmm. Let's try putting that guard on there and see if it rubs. Oh, looking good. I guess I could drop some super glue on the back side of that through that hole. I don't really think it's going to go anywhere. I think the magnet's going to hold it in. So now I've got to make a bracket to hold that like that. I was thinking come off of here and then down. Well, shoot, that's not going to go down far enough that way. Lines up perfect. I like it. Now the electrical part. Well, aside from the magnet, this is all that it came with. Pretty well labeled. It says 110 right there for 5 and 6. That's your power leads. You plug that in. 
and the wire colors on that line up with your uh, wire colors on your Prox magnetic pickup. Uh, only thing I'm worried about is the on and off power for the when I'm turning my lathe on. That's what powers it. <clears throat> but we'll see. Yeah, I've got these wired up temporarily because I want to see if this is going to work. Okay, let's see what it does. Ah. Hallelujah! 400 RPM. I like it. Well, there it is all done. This should be... Uh, wait a minute, let me plug my lathe back in. Probably not UL listed, but... Should be 400. Takes a minute to stabilize. There it is, 400. I guess that'd be uh, 634. Maybe it would have been better to leave it powered up all the time. Thousand twenty-seven. Cool. Let's try back gear. Sixty-seven. I like it. Kind of wish I had painted that before I inserted that. Uh. It is what it is, because I'm not taking it back out. Uh, I think it's a good value, although the uh, terminals in the back were really, really flimsy. Uh, that was the only real negative. Price was right. can't remember exactly what I paid. Uh, but I'll put the link uh, below in the description area underneath the video if you want to buy one for your lathe or whatever. It works. Anyway, that wraps it up. Thanks for joining me, and be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.